Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I am addicted to jewelry. So I went a little dramatic with the makeup today. Oh, are these the right glasses? I have three pairs of glasses in front of me. <laughs> I can't tell, let me see. These are probably the ones I need and they're awfully dirty, but I just wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that I purchased this week and say hello. It's been a minute since I've done a video and hello and welcome if you're new here. Um, and if you are new here and haven't subscribed yet, please consider it's free to subscribe. Um, be sure you like this video, leave me a comment, let me know what your favorite item was and uh, yeah, share with a friend. Tell a friend about me on my channel and I'm in my she shed right now that I built um, last year about a year and a half ago or so um, I did do a video so I do have a lot of content back there if you are new here um, please check that out so I've had a couple of people ask me for some costume jewelry recently um, and uh, yeah when I first started this thing it was all about the jewelry it's all about the jewelry, not necessarily, it didn't have to be uh, anything. It's just, I like jewelry. I appreciate it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I like the way that it's designed, constructed, uh, the colors, the materials. Uh, they're like little pieces of art and I've always enjoyed it. And um, yeah, and then I found some people on YouTube and found out, hey, wow, this stuff Actually, I mean, I was already flipping furniture and doing things like that, upcycling things, um, making purses. Um, I made, I recycled jewelry. I took old jewelry and redid it and made my own. Um, and I had been doing that sort of thing for many years. Well, then I found YouTube and got to watching some of this uh, content and finding out, wow, this necklace right here that I found at the thrift store yesterday, um, for the price that I got it for, is really incredible. Um, this is Murano glass, and I only know that because it says all over the back, Murano glass. And this chain it's on is so heavy and so well constructed. It's just a bunch of jump rings, big gold jump rings. And it's pretty amazing. And Look at that, it goes with my she shed. I mean, bam, that should be a, uh, let's see, can I do it? There, that's a screenshot. I did a screenshot, so maybe that'll be my thumbnail. I don't know. But yeah, I, I kind of made a mistake with my makeup this morning. I did like a deep red and I didn't like it, but it was a stain. <laughs> <laughs> so I went in with some darker stuff and I thought, well, okay, it's appropriate. It's October. I can rock it. Speaking of October um, and Halloween, I did pick this up yesterday because, yeah, if there's any time of year that I'd be able to sell a thing like this, it would be like right now. And this is nicely done. I liked it a lot. And it's glass and there's um, as you can see, the little bats, it's just a cute little uh, bats and spiders. And it's all glass and it's really nicely made. Costume jewelry, um, which was requested. Um, yeah, and my last couple of sales have been, you know, everything's like $50 or higher. And I need to get back down to reality. Yeah, my neighbor's got the blower out right now, but at least he wasn't doing the grinding when I first sat down and tried to do this all of a sudden he started grinding something <laughs> I was like please stop it and sorry for my doggies out there so this is something that I picked up um, at Doug's house it was in a box and it had been sitting there I'd seen it for the last few weeks and I thought you know what that's a really nice um, is it Ann Taylor um, and is it, or is it Ann Klein? It's Ann Klein. I knew that. Uh, but it's a nice vintage collar necklace. Really, really nice. 
boom, gold is in right now. Been in. Um, this is a nice, and sorry for all the background noises. I'm in my backyard and the doors are open. And uh, yeah, uh, that's a nice, maybe, uh, maybe it's a green onyx. It's a scarab sterling silver ring. This is a really neat wood and Bakelite clip. Really nice, nice design. Vintage, um, I did get this. Now I might keep this. Uh, this is really nice. It's hand pounded. It's a torque necklace. Um, I don't know, I might keep that one. Oopsie. What do we call those? Um, what does Margaret call them? Texas Gal Treasures. Um, catch and Release. Was it her that came up with that? Catch and Release. I can't remember. Um, anyhow, this is beautiful right here. Look at this. It's a vintage necklace. It's the things are festooned. Look at that. And it has a bracelet to match. Very nice. Uh, this is a vintage set. I like that. I like that a lot. This is, it's just costume jewelry. I don't think that there's any um, designer name attached to that. No. I would have signed that. I think that's beautiful. Um, I got this. Um, I got this at Doug's also. Um, this has got a screw closure, which I thought was a nice design. Um, very secure, easy to put on and off. Great glass uh, crystals. Well, I'm assuming they're glass. And then there's these really neat big glass balls. But then look at, um, was it, not, oh, maybe it's not this one. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Anyways, big balls and, um, yeah, the ring light is putting off that ring light. It was this one that has these cool balls on it. Ah, <laughs> oh, balls. That seems to be the ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. She said balls. He said balls. We all said balls. Uh, anyhow, this pearl necklace. <laughs> now I can't stop thinking about it. Um, these are all pearls and there are some faceted like glass beads in here as well but all pearls and then more pearls and it's these balls look at these these are like a frosted glass with a uh, nice shiny ring around the center there that's kind of oblong it's not like around the center as you can see it's anyhow i just thought that was really nice for this time of year, great colors. It's, um, there's yellows and oranges and some greens and grays and blacks. Um, it's just really, and browns, I'd say. Really great for, again, this time of year. Speaking of this time of year, oh my gosh, I found these yesterday. These are fantastic. They are costume jewelry. And I mean, hello, look at the design on these things. These are so cool, so well put together. I have no idea who made these. Um, they're riveted, they're a clip-on, um, but that's all riveted together. Uh, that's an acrylic in there or a lucite. These are fantastic, I love them. Pretty amazing. Actually, look at that. Is that another thumbnail? If I can hold it still. Beautiful. I love this. Oh my gosh, this. I've seen this um, before, but it is mine now. 
and she is very cute, a little tattered, and very furry, and <laughs> look at her face. I love this. This is amazing. This makes me very happy. I, I just love this. And if you can see here, this is just like an old pipe cleaner that someone twisted around a little piece of metal and then oh, look at that face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Adorable. Those are really cute. Uh, these are pretty fantastic. These are really nicely made uh, sterling silver and uh, whatever blue stone that is. Just really nice construction the way that, yeah, those will not come off the ear. Great design. This is pretty neat. It's different. Um, so I think it's made to be worn like this. Oh, let me get that chain out of there made to be worn like this. Lapis and sterling silver. And er, let me get it to hang right. I, Okay, there we go. Hang right. But it kind of hangs like that. Um, yeah, it, the bottom one goes down because when you put it up against something, it lays like that. So I like that design. Beautiful sterling lapis necklace. Um, I picked up these, which is a double glass. This one is Japan, I believe. Oh, I did bring a loop. And again, if you are new here, hello and welcome. These are Austria, not Japan. I take it all back. Um, yeah, thanks for coming over and checking out my channel. Um, I've been on YouTube for three years now. I think I've only got about 200 and... 50 or so to go to get to 7,000 subscribers. Wow. Amazing. Thank you very much. I do appreciate each and every one of you. It's always free to subscribe. Um, now, if you go to subscribe and you see a button that says join, don't hit that um, because that's a paid um, per month thing for members. And I don't know how to remove that. I kind of wish it wasn't there, but it's there. Uh, subscribe. Subscribing is free. This is awesome. This is vintage uh, KJL, and these are the most incredible um, beads right here. They are like a peacock blue, so they're bluish, greenish, purplish. <laughs> uh, and they're beautiful. It, this is a really, really nice, really nice piece. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. So, yesterday I found this. It was $10.99. Um, it's not, it's not Cartier. They knew it wasn't Cartier. <laughs> um, but it does say Cartier 750, uh, 750, which is 18K, and there's an 18 there. Um, nice faker. How's the screwdriver? It was 1099. I bought it. I was going to risk it for the biscuit. No matter what, it was 1099. Um, I've seen these. They, they sell these knockoffs. Um, I've seen them from a hundred bucks to, I, I haven't looked in a long time, but I've seen them online many of times before between a hundred and 300, 500 even. Um, but those would be a few thousand dollars, if not more, um, if it were real. So for 1099, I'm going to risk it. Uh, I did buy some vintage jewelry yesterday from a dealer, and this is a gorgeous. That's Renoir. And, or is this one Matisse? Does it matter? It's the same thing, right? <laughs> well, th these are actually... Um, 
Ah. These are Matisse. Um, and it has the earrings. So these were sets. It's a beautiful robin's egg blue on copper uh, with the earrings, signed Matisse, gorgeous set. That's beautiful. Well, I may as well show you the rest because I just said I bought four sets of it. Um, this one here is also copper and enamel, which they are known for. Um, and that's also a beautiful set. This one is by Matisse. And this also has the earrings to go with. I love that. Love it, love it. And then, well, there was actually a couple pairs of these um, button type earrings. Um, great enamel. Look at how beautiful that is with the oranges and yellows and reds. Oh my. Uh, same. Matisse. I love those colors. Those are beautiful too. Then there's this set here. This one is also Matisse. Uh, copper enamel. This one is red and also has the earrings to match. All of these are just perfect for this time of year, for fall. Love them. Love them, love them. But I love this most of all. This is fantastic. Uh, look at that painter's palette and the paint brushes. Gorgeous. And it has the earrings to match. That I, I love this. Look at that enamel work. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow, wow, wowie. Okay, so that was all of that. Now, what else did I find? Okay, so this was also from a dealer that I uh, had a private pick yesterday. And this is a darn shame. Oops, there's one of my hairs. Oh! Uh, this is a Juliana brooch and with the, ah, oh, I forgot what they're called, margarita glass, um, that central uh, flower Rivoli. It's shaped like a flower, kind of. It's got rounded, puddled edges. Um, this, unfortunately, came off and needs to be soldered back on. And maybe this is a job for a professional uh, uh, jewelry repair because I have the brooch and the earrings. And um, the earrings are fantastic. And either I sell it as is or I sell it uh, after I get that repaired. Uh, this is just a really neat uh, gold filled band and what look like maybe Swarovski crystals. It's a very small sized ring, but gorgeous band. Really nice band. I like that. So I found this out in the wild the other day and I got it for costume jewelry uh, because this someone had put this on there and I have found this oftentimes um, that's an extender and at the end of the extender it says 925 right there on the little heart the little heart there and it says 925 right there um, but it also says 925 on this um, on this clasp right here if you can see that right there uh, and someone put this, which is 
for someone who's maybe arthritic or whatever, um, these are a handy little, uh, for people who can't necessarily do the, that little thumb clasp thing. Anyhow, and these are, well, I'm not sure if it's a lavender jade. I don't know if it's dyed. <gasps> Excuse me. That was a hiccup. <laughs> um, I've had coffee this morning. Actually, let me have one more sip because that's all I have left. And this is my first and only cup this morning. Um, or it could be a chalcedony, it could be a dyed quartz, whatever it is. I, it didn't matter. I was going to buy it because it's beautiful, A, it's, it's stone and sterling silver, and they didn't know because of that. Um, I found these, and I thought these were pretty awesome. Now, these are sterling silver and abalone. Um, it's like abalone on one side and mother of pearl on the other side. And with this type of ear wire, you could just open that up a little bit, pull this off, slip it around, change it to the other direction, and then you could wear them this way as well with the mother of pearl. Uh, really simple, great design, beautiful. I found these, um, I don't know, Tuesday. I went out Tuesday shopping and I went out Wednesday shopping. I uh, found these out on Tuesday. Uh, these are amber and sterling silver and really cool little earrings. These were great. Where's the other one? These are, I'm assuming, well, it might be a brass. could be gold filled. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the back, the clip on. And... Those are amber drops. Look at that glow. I love those. Those are really nice. I got into my studio last night and I finished my ring. Um, I, a couple of weeks ago, I had started this ring. I went into my studio and I, I had cut this out and then I shared the, uh, yeah, I shared what I was making. Uh-oh. I can still feel it's just little, still little, tiny bit loose. Um, it's a bigger size ring. It's about a size, maybe a 9. I don't know. I didn't put it on the mandrel. Maybe it's a 10. I don't know. Uh, but it's a gorgeous sterling silver and really pretty piece of lapis ring. Oh, it goes with my dress uh, wish it fit. Uh, I don't know if you can see the little heart. There's a little heart that's going around that TT. You can kind of barely see it there. Anyhow, those are my initials, if you didn't know. I also made this in my studio. I had purchased two of these from Doug. Um, they were bracelets, and I fashioned one of them into a ring. And that's a piece of, like, a spiny oyster or something and again this is a big ring this one is like a size 13 um, but that's just how it turned out I don't know I just stuck it on the mandrel and started bending it and and then I took my my mallet and finished it off and yeah it just ended up being a bigger size I mean it's very easily I'm sure it could be adjusted to a smaller size but I figured you know I do have people that have bigger fingers, so yeah, I made that too. Choo choo! Uh, I found these out. This is um, a beautiful uh, base metal button, uh, but these are amazing pearls. Uh, and this button clasp is cool. You just push it down and pull that out, and it snaps right back in, but push that and it just falls right out. Cool. Cool little design on that. Uh, but these pearls are gorgeous. I really, really like those. Great length, uh, perfect for the holidays. Ooh, and speaking of perfect for the holidays, I bought this yesterday from a dealer, and this is sterling silver 
Vermeil and it's got a really nice clasp on there. Perfect, again, for this time of year and holidays and all the parties and um, CZs and sterling silver. Really nice, very nicely constructed. That's a beautiful piece. I found this one out in the wild um, Tuesday. It does have a little bit of stringy issues there. Oh, it needs to be probably redone entirely, but gorgeous Heshi beads and beautiful, uh, not sure if that's turquoise. It could be a green turquoise or, yeah, it looks like turquoise. I don't know. Uh, gorgeous pieces. Loved that. I found that in the wild. This one uh, came from a dealer. Um, and it's just a nice gold chain. Uh, it, perfect for a nice gold pendant. Okay. I found these pearls. These are sterling silver and like a beautiful Tahitian pearl. Uh-oh. What do we got going here? Little bit of a stringing issue there. Let's see if I. Is that going to help any? Let's get some of these. Well, okay, it looks better. Get it evened out there. Uh, Tahitian colored, peacock colored pearls on sterling silver clearly on string. Um, very nice strand though. Gorgeous. I bought this ring, which is sterling silver. Um, ooh, what size is that? Probably a seven and a half. It's a deep, deep red. A little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of wear on the edges on the top there maybe sorry if that's uh can you see the color can you see it <laughs> okay i found this one out in the wild too again with the uh this probably came from that same person um there you go it's got that same little thing there. Uh, but I saw that. I saw that little cartouche right there. And, you know, honestly, I didn't look at it. It does say 95 Italy. And then it came down to this, uh, which is gorgeous. That is coral. And it is a beautiful piece of coral. It's been shaped and polished um, into that teardrop shape, but gorgeous piece. But again, it was, I got it for costume jewelry because they had that thing there, the uh, thing that makes it, yeah, it's like a magnetic twisty clasp. And then I got these earrings here, which are beautiful. They are mother of pearl or Maybe they're all just sterling silver. No, there is. There's like mother of pearl abalone just on the first couple of panels there. And then it goes to sterling. Clippy. Uh, what else did I get? I got a few other things. I got a bunch of rings uh, from the dealer. I got this sterling... Uh, Great key design with like a black enamel, great thumb ring, or just a nice band. This is a gorgeous Laramere. Laramere. <laughs> it's a Laramere. It does need to be, I think I would polish that one. Uh, it's a, a more modern design. It looks a little muddled to me. I think that that is, um, and, and it's look at the construction underneath 
it's a great design. I think it's modern and it just needs a little polish on there. That's a piece that I think would make that layer mark pop, my opinion. I don't know, some others might have another opinion on that. And, oh yes, those, let me not forget those little guys and that. And these, uh, oh yeah, I was showing you rings. So I got this amber ring here um, and this beautiful purple cushion cut, whatever that is, that's a beautiful stone, whatever that is. Um, and this one is, I'm not sure what that is, if that's a moonstone in there and some little, huh, CZs or, those are blue actually, or purpley lavender. Maybe they're, um, those other things. And then this one. Well, it was on my thumb, so I'll show it on my thumb. Um, sterling silver and uh, unlikely a lab-created opal, but gorgeous ring. And then I got these. These are pretty awesome. These are sterling and I think these are... Mexico. Oh yeah, here's all the markings on one of them. Yeah, these are Tosco. I don't know, yada yada. <laughs> Those are cool. And this one has all the markings. There you go. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. And I said, yes, please. I must have them. Um, they are the cutest little things. They're little bobbleheads. Um, and they are just adorable. And yeah, sorry, it just took my polish off and I, yeah, my nails look pretty hammered. <laughs> I've had dark polish on for like a month. Yeah, it's been over a month um, since, uh, yeah, since the star went to heaven. And yeah, so I had my nails painted dark for a whole month. And anyways, there's a stringy dingy there. Uh, but that's a nice bar brooch. Very nice vintage piece, uh, beautiful. That'd be great on a little hat. And hi, what are you doing? Oh, what are you chasing? Oh, these go nice in here too. Uh, these are clip-on earrings. And uh, these earrings right here are pretty fantastic. These are by, um, Jomaz, Jomaz, Joseph Mazer, I believe it's Jomaz. Uh, these are pretty fantastic for the holidays, clip-on earrings, and perfect for the holidays. Then there was this. I don't know who made this. Um, I, maybe I need to look into it a little bit. Er, let me get that safety open and get this untangled here. There we go. Um, it just has a plunger closure and then it's got these gorgeous uh, cabochons and faceted rhinestones and it's just a great bracelet. A lot of detail work all along there. They look they all look like little crowns. Gorgeous piece. I bought these little earrings yesterday. And I didn't even look to see what they said yet. I had a feeling. What a feeling. Uh, these are Karen, Carolyn Pollock uh, Relios. And I'm not even sure what that is in there, but they are beautiful. 
They're sterling stud earrings and they're gorgeous. I'm not sure what this is. Um, but these look like little tiny diamonds in there. FB925. Um, yeah, they look like pretty rough. Um, and this is like, well, I'm not sure what that is. It's beautiful. It's a pendant. Huh. I don't know. Then there was these. These are signed uh, Kenneth Lane, right? I'm just making stuff up. No, these are signed Kenneth Lane, and these are beautiful clip-ons. Really gorgeous. Again, holidays coming up. Bingo, bango. A uh, couple of sterling rings here. Kind of a no big deal, but they were sterling and yeah. And then I found this. Uh, this was a little bent and uh, it was in the costume jewelry section and the stone is cracked there, uh, but it was 10 karat gold. It says so on the inside somewhere. And I put it on the mandrel and straightened it up. It's a it's a small size. It's like a maybe a size six, but it's gold. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Oh, and then I got these two things here um, from my dealer friend. So uh, this is a box, and it's got a little hidden thing here. You gotta pull that out. Look at all the detail in there. And then you open it like that, and then the lid comes off. Pretty cool. And it goes back in, and then you put his little, his little mane back in there. And then you can't open it. Very cool. And I also bought this. And... This is a kaleidoscope that spins. It's got music. Let's see, what's the song? We'll go faster so we can figure this out together. Oh, these, this is a few of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. Um, but it has four different plates. Um, Oh, that one's a carousel horse. That one's a fishy. And there's stained glass, and that one is a rose. How cool is that? So, I don't know. Maybe I'll enjoy this for a minute and then offer it later on. I'm not sure. But, yeah, the box will be up for grabs. And all these other things. Um, I have a sale once a month or once a week on a Sunday at 4 p.m. Um, right here on my channel, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time, if you're new here. And occasionally I do a pop-up sale. I might just do a pop-up sale, maybe today. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for hanging out for 39 minutes and 23 seconds. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace.